it's Zara. There it is, you guys. The box. It's all done. Um, I did a video of me painting it. Not the sides, but the whole top, pretty much. And it's actually a really good instructional video. It's long, obviously. I, I just take so long. But I give some really good detailed um, instruction on how to get the darkest darks. And um, yeah, it, it, it's pretty good, I have to say. It's just long, so I'm still editing. Um, and I'll, I may post it. I'll probably post it, but this is what it looks like. I love how when I add the soft black just in certain areas, like just in the corners, you know, I told you I was going to put it in just the darkest dark areas. Um, let me see. I ended up painting over some of the burned um, dark areas because I just think it made it really strong. Um, yeah, uh, I did the sides with the same pattern as the, the top. I just, you know, changed a few things. The front is the worst, actually. One of the sides is really nice. This side turned out really nice. This side's a little wonky, too. But again, it's that resin that's in the wood. Um, so the front, I just had, like, when I was doing my dots, it would slide because there's resin in the pine. Oh. I put little buttons, wooden buttons on the f on the bottom for feet, and I like that. But yeah, I actually, I really love it. So um, I did a couple little dip dots. You know, obviously, the next time around, I probably, I'll change a few things, but uh, other than that, I think it's a keeper. Um, so right now, I, I did put felt inside. Just put the felt on the bottom. I mean, it kind of feels naked on top, but it's just so that I could put, I have a couple of malas in here. My, uh, what is that? My amethyst mala. And this one is just shell. Shells, uh, beads made from shells and dyed shells. This is a tiger's eye. Um, and then I made this one. This is my, I got my order from, I placed an order with Beadaholic. Um, they're in California. So, uh, American, you know, company, because I, I could not find eight, um, oh, these are number six millimeter rose quartz. I only had the um, tens. So, I also was able to find this Griffin silk. So, I got um, two of each color because I tie them together in order to get the, um, where did I put it? I don't know where I just put it. Oh, I'm tripping here. <laughs> but look, I am in love with Labradorite. Here, let me move this out of the way. So I think I used the gray, yeah. So in other words, I took two of these cords. These are number sixes. It says 2M. They're .70 millimeter. And that has to do with the size of the hole in the bead. So a six millimeter bead has approximately between a six, six and eight millimeter hole. And so if I double that thread up, so it's six feet long doubled, you just have enough to tie on your um, to uh, toggle, tassel. I also ordered this um, Guru bead, which I won't do again because I just don't think it's necessary. I like the way it looks when I put it um, you can you can get your bead. See, this is a plus. I also have um, some silver ones. I kind of like the way the silver ones look uh, because if I add other little um, decorative beads, so I have my little owls anyway. Um, and I did go get uh, more silk for the tassels. This is like if you go to the little um, to the section where they sell this stuff. This is called. Uh, Let's see what it says on here. Floss. I think it's called floss. Anyway, um, this is satin. There's a satin section and a cotton section, which I didn't really realize. But the satin just makes a better tassel. And I'll just show you. So this one is a satin one, and so is this. Um, and I just tie, I can't tie it with satin, so I use cotton to tie it with. <laughs> but this is a cotton tassel, and I just don't like the way it hangs as much. It's, 
know, it works, it's fine, but these are just more um, flowy, you know. So um, those are my three malas for right now, all hand knotted by me, and I am in love with Labradorite. So let me just set these aside, and I'll show you what I've been up to. So yes, yeah, so this is the box. Let me. I'm going to put all these um, silks, just all my mala uh, supplies. Just put them right. Oh, I did get this. Is the uh, six millimeter rose quartz. Um, by Dakota Stone. So maybe they're made in the USA, but this is how they come. I bought plenty of them because I was playing today. Um, I have been keeping my beads that I wear in this box, my little dragonfly box, and I have another box that I will be making. I'm so excited. I have two more actually, but I mean, I, I love this box. And guys, I know you're like, what are you going to do with it? I'm keeping it for now, and I could have bought another one of these today because I was at Michael's. I went to Michael's, but, um, so yeah, so I made these today. I'll come in and show you, but this is called, La oh, I bought abalone because the beads are 50% off this week. So I bought these abalone hearts. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but they're shell, and they're beautiful. Um, they're gorge. Um, so I will just have them in my collection. I still have tons of beads to play with, but this is Labrador. <gasps> oh, excuse me, Labradorite. I have a couple of bracelets that I have made with this Labradorite. Um, and the ones I have on especially. So I'm going to come down and just show you. So I wish I had a big gemstone. I think in the, um, Mindful Souls boxes, they're going to send me a palm stone of Labradorite because I've been watching the um, unboxings and there is a big piece, but it has flash in it. So what I mean by that is, I'll try to find, like, see, look, there's blue and you can see it, OMG. I'm just fascinated, fascinated by these. I love them so much. And then, so that's why I was, uh, I decided to make my, um, Rose quartz. This this mala is my intention is self love. Rose quartz is a very loving stone. Labradorite. I think it's grounding, but I just love pink and gray together. So I used a gray silk and a gray tassel. But then I made these bracelets today. Um, I made this one with the turtles. O M J. So this is it here. And if you just look at the strand, there's a flash there. There's just flash everywhere. So I bought two more of the uh, eight millimeters. This is eight millimeters and uh, another little one, but then I made these. So this has the rose quartz beads that I got from Beadaholic. This is pretty much, they call it reconstituted um, something. I can't think, of, it's howlite basically, but they dye it and they just make these little critters. And I have two little silver turtles on here. And this just is to represent patience for me and love again, but it's just pretty. And then this one, I think I want to call this Jasper. It's just a um, pink and brown Jasper. And then this is another design that I did with the Labradorite. So this is actually Labradorite too this dark bead and there's flash on all these if you're in person like I will just sit and look at these it's just gorge but I did this one boy I just got a big flat oh 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 there's some gold there's green and blue and purple see see on that one anyway um so I just used these little glass silver beads in between and then I had these um bead caps so I put the bead caps on top of the big bead, and I've been wearing the heck out of that. Because I'm wearing pink today, this little setup went well. So when it spins around, this is just where I hide my knot underneath this bead and my peace sign. But then I, I got these butterflies the other day, and I just, oh my god. I can't. It's too freaking cute, man. So again, I just put the little tiny glass silver beads in there couple of flowers and some more lab look there's blue flash there the other straight look more purpley blue flash 
the other strand I got today the oh um and it's just got like speckles in there like there's in the sunshine I'm just addicted to it so I've been going crazy I made this lotus with some um, lava beads that you can put your essential oils on I made this today because these were look at this one omg like there's just so much flash in these I love them so much um, my little doggy one again with the um, lava beads this is just sometimes I want to wear look I mean this has speckles and so much flash omg this is my first one that I had I wear this when I wear like my because I have a set of little beads so I have amethyst in the littler six millimeters and then I have stones um, in the eight millimeter so I have quite a few I have um, my name on this one but it all started with this bracelet that I got at my hairdressers um, I don't know what these are I want to say they're agate because agate comes in a lot of colors they're polished and it just had this one little shiny bead and then a little dangle that I, I want to put back on it because I kept changing it um, this is my original rose quartz that I would wear all the time this is my original how light that I got from the rock store and then I took apart the other um, what is this called aventurine uh, I took this apart it came with a three set that I got on Amazon when I first before I even went to the um, craft stores and I just remade it with these like green shiny glass beads and I I love it like I've been wearing this one so now this is sunstone I'm addicted to I love sunstone too but like these labs are just everything so I've been keeping all of these my ones that I love that I wear in here and depending on the mood I'm in or whatever I keep this up in my room I put those on and I wear up oh, here's my listen bead this is opal pink opal my listen bracelet and then in my other box that I did the um, the original dragonfly which I'm so I'm sad because I don't like it like I don't think I'll even sell it because I'm disappointed because I tried to just put the dragonfly on and then make a mandala around it. I mean, I don't hate it, but I don't like how it's just, I darkened it too much or something happened. But I like the stars. I like everything else about it. It's just the top bugs me. So this is all the other bracelets that I've been making. Um, I love this one too. I might make this for me. I don't know. But it's got a, like a Buddha charm. Um, I love it. This is, oh, I love this one too. This is hematite, um, with a cross. This is hematite. This is opal too, I think, with a little dog paw. Um, this is strawberry quartz. Um, so there's a lot of different stones in here that I don't have in my stash, but like this is carnelian with a cross, and I put one of those shiny gems on there. I have the, um, I can't think of the name of this, the green one. Anywho, this is just Jasper. Anywho, I am still really fiending for these beads. Um, but I made, I don't know that I'm going to make another mala right now because you need 108 beads. But I love this one. I'm wearing pink today, so I'm wearing that. And I am just loving my pink and gray so much. I love my little turtle, my butterfly, and but this is the box, you guys. I love it. It's right now, it's my fave. I absolutely love how it turned out. I would say it's uh, kind of, well, let's see, I think it's eight by eight. And like I said, I will go and. Um, edit the video and see if I want to post it or not but like I said there is some good helpful hints about the shading that I do on here um, but I'll be back I just love it so much I do um, so this is all my malice supplies all right you guys thanks for watching